the indigenous people of Biafra has banned political rally in southeast of Nigeria. This is the report we are getting and we will tell you why they have done that. There must be some reasons and that reason is what we want to present to you in this video. But before we do that, we ask you to kindly subscribe to our channel Click on the notification bell so that our next and all video uploads will come to you. Let's get into the matter. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOB on Friday banned all forms of political rally in the southeast. In a statement issued by each spokesperson, a more powerful, the group specifically warned the All Progressives Congress APC governorship aspirant in the state, Ike Chiemenike, against holding a planned political rally in Omaha Hiabia State on Friday. IPOB added that the directive also affected the People's Democratic Party PDP and other political parties preparing to host political gatherings in the state and other parts of the Southeast. The group blasted politicians in the region for doing nothing to check the abduction of innocent people by bandits. And the statement read, We will not allow politicians to remain silent and do nothing about the continual onslaught on the people of the area while they plan for 2023 and act as if nothing is wrong. We want to advise Chief Ike Chiemenike and his APC people not to hold any political rally in Omaha tomorrow, Friday, May 20, 2022. While they kept quiet and did nothing when Fulani bandits kidnapped passengers, including female students, along Okigwe Uturu Road. We cannot allow America and his APC co travelers to be dancing and singing at Chide Berry Park while our daughters are still in captivity. It is hypocrisy for the political elite to show no concern about the plights of our people who they claim to be seeking their welfare. It is wickedness for Emenike and his co-travelers to keep mute and do nothing about the incessant abductions of Igbo sons and daughters by Fulani men around Uturu and this environs. Ikechi Emenike should keep away from Chidebere Park, Omaha. here. We won't allow APC and other political parties to continue to hold their rallies in our land while Flanny bandits operate with impunity, kidnapping and raping our people. Yet the politicians do nothing about it. All they care about is 2023. Enough is enough. This statement was signed by a more powerful, the spokesperson of IPOB. And I think he did not stop at um, this political rally. Actually, they also warned the renowned pastor, Kumuyi, not to hold a crusade in the southeast. I think he's planning a crusade one of the southeastern states and they said no 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 we cannot allow you to do that don't do that i think what they are saying is regarding the crusade is because of security reasons because of the so many cleans going on and i believe the crusade will be done in the night and probably they are saying it is not safe for people to troop out in the night you never know what is going to happen. And one reason, of course, is that uh, whatever happens, the first people that will get the blame is the IPOB. Supposing some people are attacked, supposing there are some shootings, supposing somebody dies in one circumstance or the other. Before you say hello, it will be all over the airwaves and uh, in the print media. That IPOB people have attacked and killed people. So probably that is what um, the IPOB is trying to avoid. 
But uh, be that as it may, one way or the other, I don't know what to say about this because the crusade itself is important because people need to pray, they need to keep their spiritual being alive and all that. But um, it's left for the authorities to weigh what is going on, see if it is safe and if it's not safe, and they want the crusade to go on, they should provide adequate uh, security. I think this one is not like um, something you should blame IPOB or say they're adopting extreme measures. It's not a bad observation itself. It could be something that we teach the government um, a lesson on how to deal with the crusade. You could see this as advice, raising concern about possibility of problems. So in this case, it could be an opportunity for government to provide adequate security to allow this uh, crusade to go on. It's a very dicey matter, but it can be handled. People need their spiritual food and the only thing is that government have to ensure their security. So in this case, it will become a win-win situation. They will get spiritual nourishment and they will be secure that they will come and they will reach back to their homes alive. So that is what is happening. The political gathering, total ban on that. It is left for the politicians to do the right thing. There are some sense in this because a lot of killings have been going on and the politicians are all keeping mute. Only thing they are interested is in getting into government in 2023. And those who are already there, they're only interested in their pockets, receiving their salary, going home and enjoying it without bothering about the very difficult situation that their constituents are going through currently. So they have to do more to keep the Southeast safe. That is what I understand from this IPOB release. I don't know if you understand it and I don't know what you understand. But we have the comment section. Please go there and tell us what you understand and what you think about this. We really appreciate you for watching this video remember to subscribe click the notification bell and we we'll see you in the next ones remain blessed